Midday Kentucky. I'm Lisa High, and I'm here with Allison Davis. We are here at Wild Time Cooking. And Allison, what are you making today? It's, this so, looks fantastic. I have a feeling we're doing something with chips, nachos. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love I think it. Troy's love made these before, but um, we are making some fresh guacamole. I'm already ready for summer. The weather's oh, warming up, that. and that's all I can think about. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> seriously. Right? I mean, it is that time of year. You know, I was looking at these avocados. How do you determine, like, you know, how do you know, like, feel-wise? That's wise, a great question. I wanted to cover that because I look for it to be a little bit green, a little bit darker right. at the same time but basically like when you buy a pear and you kind of uh, pick up a pear you feel a, it's a little bit soft to touch so yeah. you like when you press in mm -hmm. so that's kind of my indication if it's too soft then it's too ripe and you have to use it right away okay but if it's still firm and just has a little bit of give when you press then okay. that's kind of the perfect avocado for like um, using the day of or yeah. the day after. I've always wondered that and I've always wanted to ask a professional chef, so hey, there, there it That's is. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I'm gonna use her while I got her. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're making guacamole, okay. so I'm just having them and taking out the pit. So I'll kind of go over that one more time. Okay. I take my knife and just kind of spin it right around the pit because you can't really cut that out. Right. Twist, oh, and you then just twist I it use off. the knife <gasps> to twist to take the pit out. So you just kind of give it a little wiggle. Just. Uh, how for awesome everyone at home and for you as well, do not try to pull this guy off of the knife because yeah. that's what I see like anybody uh, doing. Yeah. We yeah. don't want that to happen. No, so don't. what I do is I press it up against the board away from me and that'll just pop that guy right off. So that that's a very the safe way to get rid of the pit. <laughs> um, okay, so you've got some oil that's I getting do. nice and hot here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Okay. And you're going to start making chips. So I just okay. took corn tortillas that you can buy in the store and cut them into fourths. Mm -hmm. And so now that they're in the triangles, you're just going to start to throw those right into the oil. Okay. And, and as soon as they brown, then that's when you're going to start taking those right out of the oil and laying them on some paper towel um, to just dry. Okay. So really, it's a matter of like 35 seconds, 40 seconds, um, just to right. get those nice and brown. Wow. And okay. once they brown, they're crisp, they're perfect, and then you usually will do a pinch of salt when they come out and okay. they're on the paper towel. So All right. if you're comfortable doing that, I'm I will. gonna let you fry some of those up okay. while I finish off our guacamole here. All right, so, so do you consider this brown? Look at the, whoops, whoops. whoops. careful, careful. <laughs> do you um, consider it just, that? Yeah, I think you're good. As okay. soon as it starts to change that color, you're pretty good to go. All right. So really just about uh, 30 seconds. Yeah, we don't seconds. want to start a grease fire here, do we? No, <laughs> I prefer not. <laughs> that would be bad. So I like to score the avocado in the shell. And so I'm just kind of um, cutting it into like squares. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to take my spoon and just scoop that out. And that's already diced a little bit for us ahead of time. Oh, and okay. And it just saves me from getting guac or avocado all over my hands. Right. By doing it in the shell. So I'm going to do a couple more of these, but I wanted to highlight a product that I picked up. Again, this week I'm kind of highlighting um, some simple shortcuts in the kitchen, right? Right. So instead of having to dice up your cilantro and your red onion and your garlic and all that kind of stuff, which is typically found in guac, I found this product from, uh, let's see, uh, I think I picked it up at Fresh Time, but you may be able to find it at other grocery stores. Okay. Um, but it is a guacamole herb and spice blend, right? So All right. in this, and it's non-GMO, it's gluten-free. Nice. No refrigeration required. It, it contains red onion, cilantro, lemon peel, tomato, red chili, garlic, and cumin, and that's it. So it's a very clean ingredient. Uh -huh. And you can just add this right into your avocados with some lime juice and salt, and your guac is done. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's that easy to yeah, do Yeah, so, so I just thought that was such a great simple shortcut that we can just add right in and nice. we're going to see how it, how it works out for fits, us. Fits right into the theme of uh, shortcuts yeah. in the kitchen. Exactly. Oh, perfect. So taking some fresh lime juice mm -hmm. and I'm um, going to juice that and then I'm going to add just a touch of salt and I'm going to start to mash these up and we're going to have those with some chips and see how we're doing over here. Uh -huh. I'm loving it. But yeah, I just love that that's like a clean, easy, simple like shortcut that we can do. So. Absolutely. I have this great masher, and we sell this here at the store, but anything will work. I saw you bring that out. And yeah, I... it's spring-loaded, so I can just kind of press and just kind of start mashing nice. those guys up. 
And my mother actually had one of those old metal, the old metal kind that we used to smash with. Oh, yeah. gosh, my arms. If you don't coming. have that, I mean, I think you could use a fork. Or mm -hmm. honestly, if you just do um, put it in a food processor and just kind of pulse it a couple times, okay. it'll help to mash up your avocados as well. That's also kind of a key to why um, when you do pick your avocados that you pick them to be like a little bit soft yeah. to touch. Otherwise, they're going to be way too hard to mash up. Okay, wow. Well, this looks fantastic. Thanks. I'm, yeah. just, I'm excited to try it. Okay, so um, as far as with putting this all together, you just put it in a bowl, you're just setting it with the chips, and it's exactly. good to go. Exactly. Now, do you put any, go. like, anything else, cheese or anything that you sprinkle no, on? No, that was the best thing about this, um, that it has it's all those all flavors going on. And so why don't you grab a chip and try it and see oh, how it is. I will. I can't wait. And... Um, Let's see. And do you want to try? Yeah. And I'll definitely put this product online and we'll be able to have that on the um, website um, at WTBQ at forward slash um, Midday, Midday Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah. And then also at your website too, uh -huh. um, wildtimecooking.com. You can find Allison's recipes there. So thank you very much, yeah. Allison. Cheers. I look forward to Cheers. We just need our margarita now. <laughs> and we'll be back right after this. <laughs>